Salmonella. Mr. Lowe's. Here is the plan for my story. Just read the story, Mr. Lowe's. The characters in the story are Ella, Ella's boss, a head chef, and an employee. The characters. The setting for the story is in the ocean. The setting. The main character's mission in this story is to follow her dream. But the problem in the story is that no one believes in her and she almost gives up. The problem. The resolution to the story is her dreams come true. The happy ending. Here is my dedication. For those who dare to dream, you can do it. Oh, just read the story, Mr. Lowe's. Ella was a girl. She wasn't a fella. A girl with a dream. She wanted to be Stella. Whenever she checked her scales, fins didn't weigh up. She tried doing what others did, and she tried lifting her head up. But even though she could swim, among the other fish, she didn't fit in. They called her a fool when she left her school, but she didn't care about what was hot. She wanted to be cool. She isn't like us, the others would gossip. Some called her shellfish, but she wasn't a scallop. Following her dream wasn't easy. Sometimes she would sook. This is too hard, she would whine. I'll never be a cook. <laughs> then, one day, she had a small break. Because she was desperate, she took whatever she could take. This restaurant was a crab restaurant, but she went along for a lark. The employees were snippy. And the boss was a shark. <gasps> Ella knew that if she wanted to be a star, she needed to shine in the dark. The head chef was bossy. He was a snapper. Do this, do that. He dressed very dapper. Ella began to rush and was cooking the food too quick. Salmonella! Salmonella! The head chef shouted. All of our customers are sick! <gasps> You're fired! Her boss bellowed and it crushed Ella's hopes. <laughs> she begged for a second chance. But all she got was nopes. No, no please give me no, a second chance. Please, no, please, please, no, I beg you, no, I beg I you, said please. No, nope. Although she felt fishy and for a while she stewed, Ella dusted off her fins and still her dreams were pursued. Yeah! Time and time again, she continued to fail. But... She just kept on swimming. She kept swishing her tail. For Ella knew in her heart that someday she would prevail. Maybe you're just not meant to be a chef. You're fired! It's okay. Just be a normal fish. A fish? Becoming a chef? That doesn't make sense. How would you hold stuff? You don't have any fingers. Don't worry about it. Who cares? Sometimes dreams don't come true. Oh well, you tried your best. Just get an easy job. Fish don't have hair. Fish don't even wear lipstick. How could you cook underwater? The food will just get all wet. Get out. Leave. Why don't you just give up?
In life, as we know, there are always ups and downs. She swam high. She swam low. She visited all sorts of new towns. She met blowfish. She met toadfish. She even met clowns. Some faces greeted her with smiles. And some with frowns. Where are you from? They would ask. To which she replied, Long story. She never forgot her dreams. Her name wasn't Dory. Mr Lowe's. Several years have passed and Ella has made it at last. There's even a movie about her. And she's about to meet the cast. Hi, I'm Troy McClure. You might remember me from your film. She's no longer a whiner. Now she's a winner. The bright lights have caught her. Hook, line and sinker. They love her so much that they're having her for dinner. Is that real? Mr Lowe's.